Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney and today's video is all about Winnie the Pooh. I'm wearing the Winnie the Pooh ColourPop makeup. I have a Winnie the Pooh box lunch bag to show you. And I also have scrunchies that are Winnie the Pooh themed. So I'm gonna go through all three of these things. And yeah, I'm very excited about it. If you notice, my voice may sound a little bit different than some of my other videos, and that's because I've been sick for the past few days. In fact, I'm not feeling 100% today, but it's been over a week since my last video, and I just missed you guys, and I have so much to talk about. So I decided to go for it, and especially since I'm not as congested as I was, I think we're gonna make it through, but bear with me. <laughs> so I hope everyone is having a great week, and if you're interested in hearing more about Winnie the Pooh, please keep watching, and if you love Disney as much as I do, subscribe for weekly videos like this one. So guys, last week I was in Florida, which is why I had to skip a week of video. And I would have done one over the weekend, but since I was sick, that just didn't, wasn't gonna happen. Um, but for that reason, now I have three different things to show you, so I'm very excited about that. And the first I'm gonna start with is this mini backpack from Box Lunch which a lot of people would assume off the bat that it's a lounge fly bag one because i often review lounge fly bags and then two because it kind of looks like it might be a lounge fly bag but it is in fact an our universe bag so there are some notable notable differences between her universe or our universe and um, lounge fly bags at least from this bag as comparison so this is my first Our Universe bag and I love it. Um, so I'm not sure that the differences I'm gonna point out with this bag are going to be the same across all other Our Universe bags. It's just my experience with this Our Universe bag and in comparison to the Loungefly bags that I've previously reviewed. So first off, I got this bag with box, lo box Lunch Money and I was really excited that I could use Box Lunch Money on it because you can't use Box Lunch Money on everything. In fact, I was going to get a the Hobbit bag um, that came out that released very recently, but I wasn't able to use it on that. I don't know if maybe in the future I'll be able to use it on that one, but that is a bag that I'm interested in purchasing, but I was able to use it on this and I'm very excited about that. And at the same time, I got these scrunchies, which I'm gonna talk about. Um, but it's always nice on some of these mini backpacks when you can get a little bit of a discount on them. So keep that in mind that maybe if you like a bag and you have box lunch money, just wait until box lunch money starts and then it'll make that decision on whether to get that bag a little bit easier. But for me, this bag was just so gorgeous. I love how the characters are drawn on the front. Um, sometimes when you see variations of artistic style they just don't hit right for everyone but for me these couldn't be more adorable um, illustrations of these characters um, i love eeyore probably the most he's just really adorable in this bottom um, window of what is either a window or a door i think um, they kind of to me feel like door like a door window combo because they do open up and they're magnetic i'm not going to show you the image behind just yet because i want to finish talking about what i think of the characters on the front but um i love the concept overall that it's this really nice big window slash door that you can actually open and that the characters are eat in like their own little window spot. So Tigger right next door to Eeyore is looking super excited and peppy as Tigger always is. Of course, Eeyore has that little bit of a sad, like afraid kind of look that he usually does. And then you go up to Piglet who's just looking cute and adorable at the top and classic Pooh. 
So I just loved, even if this didn't open up, I love how the characters look on the front of the bag. Um, and I think it is a surprise that it does actually open up to most people. Yesterday I was at um, the food store, I was getting some more medicine and um, someone was looking at my bag and so like I opened the door and they were like, oh my God, that's so cool. Um, so yeah, I was excited <laughs> to show them like that there was this other, cool part of this bag which was a surprise and that is an image of them all playing outside um and sort of who's tumbling on the ground eeyore is looking over he's the only one that really notices that they're being <laughs> looked at so he's kind of looking over um tigger of course is bouncing around <laughs> now he's on his head and then piglet's in the air and it's almost as if who has like thrown Piglet up. But I just loved that image. I love how they're drawn. I think it's so gorgeous. And what a nice surprise behind the doors. And the fact that they didn't just make these plain flaps behind these like window doors. They actually gave us some detailing on the inside too. And that is not missed by me. I think it's really nice that they did that. Um, and then there's magnets right here on sort of like the handle of the window door and that's what keeps these in place. Um, so if you were to open it, it would just fall closed. Um, so it is really nice. You're not going to have a door swinging open as you're walking or anything like that. Um, and I just thought the nice like metallic effect of the windows is really cool too and i don't know why they did that i can't say but it just captures the eye a bit more than anything else would and yeah maybe they could have gone with a clear but then you would get confused by half seeing an image in the background so i think metallic was um good for that reason maybe that is the reason they chose to do that and then on top of just having this really cool window design in the center, they've added really nice flowers all up the sides. And I thought that was a really nice touch as well. It just is very beautiful on the green background. This is really nice, like soft green on the majority of the bag. And as you turn the bag to the side, that same like floral pattern is all over the top of the bag. And then you can even see a floral pattern on the inside of the pockets, which are nice usable pockets. I will say that in comparison to my other, my lounge fly bags, these side pockets have a little less space in them, not in terms of height, but in terms of if you're trying to stick your phone in here, I have an iPhone um, and it, it's hard to put, like it's very tight on my iPhone when I put it in the side pocket, you can do it but it doesn't fit quite as comfortably as it does in the pockets of my lounge flies. Um, but I've put masks in here. I've put um, like chapstick, a bunch of different things in the side pockets and they do find them usable. It's just in comparison to the way the lounge fly pocket is um, sized, it's just a little bit easier to get in and out of it where this one is a little bit tighter, even to just stick my hand inside it. And I do have pretty small hands <laughs> for somebody that is an adult. <laughs> I've actually, I always say with my dad, he, he used to say to me when I was little, he used to put my hand in his hand and say, never get any bigger. And so I said, that's why my hands are still like small child hands because he he said that to me <laughs> but anyway um, on the back of the bag there's no um, special image they've given us a lot they gave us a hidden image on the front behind the windows so I'm okay that there's no like hidden image back here um, and then there's this handle at the top that's kind of like more of a lunchbox style handle than the handles on a lounge fly bag, um, which are a little bit smaller and don't have as much room. Um, and then 
there's nothing on the zipper pulls at all, I don't think. Nope, there's nothing. Like the lounge fly zipper pulls will often say lounge fly on here. These don't say anything on them. Doesn't bother me. Um, there is a Disney Hour Universe plaque at the top of this. And if you were to feel it, it's the same material as the rest of the bag, or at least it feels that way. Um, so, you know, it's a nice touch to the bag. And I do like the branding, especially since people might be confused or not know that this is a our universe bag versus a lounge fly bag. So I do like that they have a little plaque on there. And then the one other thing I'll note before going on the inside of the bag is that the zipper on this does get a little bit sticky. Um, of course, now that I'm, oh yeah, actually here, it did get a little sticky here. I was gonna say now that I'm saying that it's not gonna be sticky at all, but just because of the shape of the bag, um, it tends to get like held up at certain spots more than I find with some of my other mini backpacks, uh, regardless of brand. So that is something that I actually think Mickey, uh, Mickey's girls, um, had pointed out. So, um, it, it's something that is a little bit different about these bags. It really doesn't bother me that much, but it is a little bit noticeable when you're zipping and unzipping these bags that it's just going to take maybe two hands a little and it's a little bit sticky um, the other big thing to note and i did have to ask online about this since it was my first our universe bag and since i ordered it online and i didn't look at other bags in the store the lining is loose so it's like baggy on the inside um and I was concerned that that wasn't the way it was supposed to be. So I did message a few people with this bag on Instagram and they confirmed that that is the way their bag is. So knowing that, I'm fine with it. But when I first looked inside the bag, I kind of wondered if it was supposed to be like that, um, where it's so um, baggy. And it's kind of like something maybe you have to experience in person, but see, there's like the um, stitching detail here that usually would be tucked in on a lounge fly bag to sort of like the top. And on our universe bag, it's kind of just pulls down. And especially if you were gonna put something in this pocket or the pocket on this side, it would like bow out a little bit more so because there's nothing attached here. Um, but I think it's really a personal preference on whether you even care about that. Uh, it was just something I wanted to confirm was in fact correct. I have a little Yoshi wallet at the bottom of my bag because I've been using this. Um, but that's what it looks like on the inside. A nice lining. Um, and you do have two pockets. You have the nice zipper pocket on one side and then you have this just open pocket on the other side. So nice storage that they've given you. Um, and you know, a fair bit of room inside the bag as well. So overall, I love this bag. I think it's really adorable. Um, personally, I would probably prefer if they made the lining a little less loose on the inside. Um, but overall, I don't really think it affects the types of things I'm going to put in this bag or is going to be a problem for me at all. It's just a personal preference. And then um, the side pockets could be a little bit easier to get in and out of. Um, like it's hard to reach the bottom of this side pocket if you were to put like earrings or something smaller. Um, you shouldn't put earrings in the side pockets because they could fall out anyway. But when I'm on the go, who knows what I'm gonna put in the side pockets of my backpack because I'm just quickly trying to not lose my things, <laughs> just leaving them somewhere. So it's better that I at least try to get them in whatever bag I'm using. Um, so yeah, that's just one thing I would note there, but overall, I don't think the design of this bag could be any cuter. I think it's really super, super adorable and I'm very happy that I did pick it up. Still available, I believe on Box Lunch. So I will leave a link after I post this video. I'll leave a link in the description to get you guys to that bag if you are interested in taking a look or shopping for it. Um, it's not a referral link, it's just gonna be a regular link, so you guys can shop as you choose. And then I wanted to show you my scrunchies. So 
this was a three pack scrunchie set and it had this scrunchie which has some images of the Winnie the Pooh characters on it. So it's got your Tigger and Piglet. It's kind of hard to see them um, because it is a scrunchie sometimes. So like it's going to be scrunched in areas. So you're not always going to see the characters, but they do pop in some places depending on where the scrunch is happening. <laughs> but I still thought it was really cute. And I do like that they gave one that was a little bit more of like a satiny feel in the set of three. And then they gave this nice big pink one, which gives me piglet vibes all day, but doesn't have any specific real character theme other than being part of the Winnie the Pooh set. And then the third one is my favorite and the reason that I got the set. And this is my Eeyore scrunchie. Love that they gave the Eeyore a little bit of hair. It is kind of funny when you put it in your hair and it's like your hair and then you have this like tuft of hair sticking up. So if people don't immediately recognize that it's Eeyore, it's kind of like a funny, like why does this person have random hair sticking out <laughs> but I think it's so adorable and I definitely have used the scrunchie a lot in the past few days especially being sick I've like wanted my hair to be out of my face and out of the way um, but yeah so very happy with the scrunchie set I am someone that has a hard time paying like $14 for scrunchies. So I have seen sets like this before and I haven't gotten them because I just feel like I could get cheaper scrunchies or headbands. And, but this time I decided I'm going with the Winnie the Pooh theme. I'm using my box lunch money. So I will get a character set and it did not disappoint. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you are some of the makeup um, the, well it's actually the entire makeup collection for the ColourPop Winnie the Pooh collection so I had actually just gone on to get the Honey Pot set which is a scrub and a lip mask but um, then this was sold out when I first went on at some point it like reappeared that it was available but I went based off of that it said sold out when I first went on if you were just trying to get this and so I thought well I was having a bad day and I just decided well I can get it if I get the entire collection so that's what I did which was a little crazy for me but I don't buy makeup very frequently so I think that this was okay for me to go a little crazy on and I am so happy with it so um, I don't normally review makeup, so sorry if I don't do as thorough of a job as somebody else might do, but I'm sure this ha probably has lots of reviews at this point on YouTube with people that specialize in makeup reviews. My review is coming from somebody that enjoys makeup, but in no way is an expert at applying it. And um, yeah, that's what I'll say about that. I don't have like a special skill set when it comes to makeup so I did do my eyes with a few colors and it's probably going to be a little hard to see on here but I'll close my eyes and show you them so yeah that is what I did with my eye makeup and I actually used four different colors there but I'm a little light on how I how heavy I apply my makeup so this was actually heavy for me and you probably some people would probably apply a lot more to really show off the colors a little bit better but I'll walk you through this quick ac application that I did so here is the color palette for the makeup and it's really super cute um, on the front it says sweet as can be and it has this really pretty photo of poo, or not photo, but imagery of poo in the flowers. And it says ColourPop and Disney's Winnie the Pooh. And then on the back, you have all your names of your shades and another cute image of Winnie. And then on the inside, you also have your color names, which I'm happy that they did. And I'm 
have not purchased a lot from ColourPop before, so you know these things may be common for ColourPop, but it's new to me. So on the inside it says, little things are beautiful too, flowers are such friendly things, and that is a really nice message at the top of the palette. And then the color names are Smackaroo, Think Think Think, Honey Tree, Sing Ho, Make Believe, Pooh Bear, Oh Bother, Best Friends, Rumbly, and In My Tumbly. And I actually used four colors, so I used Think 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 on the inside here. I used um, Honey Tree, but that was probably what I applied the lightest of, so that's like right here, like in between this heavier color in the back. Um, so I could probably, if I wanted to do a better job, apply a little bit more of the honey tree. There you go. And, and then, um, so honey tree, think, think, think. Best friends is what I used for my little eyeliner. And then I used smackaroo for this back portion here. So I'm really happy with the colors. I think they're very Winnie the Pooh. I, even just in my poor job at application, I think it looks super cute. And I was very light on the liner too. So it did come out nice for me with the style that I like to do, but you could do a much heavier application of shadow and liner if you'd like. So very happy with the shadows. The other thing that was really cool for me and sort of new to me were these super shock cheek. So there's three of them in the line and I will read you their names. They all have a cute image of Pooh on the front with a B and they say ColourPop and I just love the boxes that they come in. Just really beautiful all around. And so this one is a hundred acre wood and that's that color. Then there's this really deep color, which is mind over matter. And then there's the color that I used a little bit of, which is silly old bear. And it's kind of hard to see, but see where the light is kind of catching me here and here and on the tip of my nose, that's where I applied it. So when you're looking at it in natural lighting, it to me gives your face a really fresh look, um, a youthful look. And I think if you were somebody that used um, foundation regularly and like, you could probably have it stand out a lot more than what I've done. I put on very light foundation because um, I usually don't w even wear foundation most days, um, but I still think it's pretty noticeable um, where I've added it. And I definitely like that I added it on the tip of my nose. I think it stands out in a cute way. Um, but definitely I used probably the lightest color, yeah, the lightest color in the set and I really like it, but I'm definitely going to play around and experiment with all of them. Maybe add some photos to my Instagram to kind of showcase it a little bit more, but I had a great time playing around with this whole set. And then the next thing I want to show you guys is the lip mask and scrub. So I, because I've been sick actually, and because I, been really congested and like breathing more through my mouth than through my nose in the past few days. Um, I've actually had really chapped lips and um, so this was this came at the perfect time because I really needed to rejuvenate my lips because they were so dried out and at, in fact like cracked um, because of being sick. So I have to say I've used lip scrub and a lip mask before from a different
beauty line and this one is so much better it's so incredible i loved the scrub so much that i'll actually regularly use it i'm sure that i will the other one was like i, I didn't know that it was really doing anything um, but this one i could immediately like feel how nice the scrub was when i put it on and so this one is the lip scrub and how cute is it it's so cute and here i definitely used a little bit of it today you don't have to use much so this is going to last me forever <laughs> because you really don't have to use much at all um, in fact i probably grabbed more than i needed and then here is the lip mask so actually i'll show them side by side because looking at them um there's not a huge difference in the look the the cap for this one is a little bit more translucent so that's how i will tell them apart i almost wish wish that the colors were a little bit different because it would be a little bit easier because i'll still probably forget which one's which but on the bottom it does say and of course, if you open them up, you'll be able to tell quickly. So I guess I could just open them up to make that known. So the other thing I wanted to show you is there's two of these that come with the little honey pots, which is super cute. I love how they have a little nice honey stick. And yeah, I it just, I, when I saw these, I had to try them. I didn't even know how good their lip scrub and lip mask was, but when I saw how cute the little honey pots were, I was very excited to try it. And that they came with these like absolutely adorable applicators. Of course you could just use your finger, but it is kind of nice to keep what's in the pot not dirty and just nice so having a little applicator that you can take it out with and then i will just rinse these each time that i use it and so not to lose those i'm keeping the box and i'm keeping everything in the original box so i'll just take them out as i use them and because i really don't want to lose the little applicators because that would be sad and then the finishing touch is a really cool set of Lux gloss and I just love this packaging I love the honey drips coming down from the top and I love the theming of all of the packaging but I have to say this is probably one of the best boxes it's really cute in fact I don't know if I showed you the lip scrub lip mask box that's what it looks like um, but this is definitely one of the best boxes. I thought it was really cute. And the three colors are dandelion honey, wildflower honey, and clover honey. And they say that on the back. Um, I actually used the darkest of the colors. And it is a gloss, so it's not going to be like lipstick when you apply it. And... Um, so it's just going to give you that sort of glossy finish, but I chose the darkest color to kind of give you a feel of that anyway. I'll reapply now so you guys can see. Um, really nice applicator. My lips were pretty pale. So it is adding some nice color to them, but it's still more of a gloss type finish. But it feels really good. It's a nice, like, creamy gloss. And definitely, I love the size of it. I'm going to use it a lot. I love the packaging, the nice honeycombs at the top. They've really done everything possible to make this a cohesive line and if you do want to keep it in the box it just slides in if you're not on camera when everything goes uh, goes awry <laughs> but yeah I'm so thrilled with the ColourPop collection I'm really happy with it I'm not someone that compares a lot of makeup so you'll have to probably look at other videos for comparisons to 
other eyeshadows and lip glosses to, you know, whether they be a part of ColourPop or otherwise. But for me, as oh, I just hit my mic, so hopefully I didn't make a crazy noise. But um, for me, this was just a really nice, fun um, gift to myself, but it would be an awesome gift for somebody else as well if they're a Winnie the Pooh lover, um, if they love spring, and it's just a happy set. Winnie the Pooh's happy, and so it's just a really, really happy, feel-good makeup collection, and I don't know that it's going to be the best eyeshadow or the best gloss, but it's something that makes me really happy to have as a Winnie the Pooh and a Disney collector. And I think a lot of people would be happy to own it or receive it. So those are my thoughts on the Winnie the Pooh ColourPop collection. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the box lunch haul that I got with my Winnie the Pooh backpack and scrunchies. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, it's a pleasure talking to you all. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.